Hey y'all. Today's video, I'm doing something that I don't normally do. I try my hardest to be unproblematic. I'm- this is not who I am. Today, I'm spit- <laughs> Well, I am spilling tea, but, um, not that way. I'm a stupid idiot, chick. Uh. <sighs> This video is not clickbait. I actually have like some real um serious tea on a few celebrities that I've met. So, uh, uh as a TikToker in LA, I've met um quite a few celebrities that I never thought I'd meet. Let me tell you the list of people that we're gonna mention today. Blueface, Trippy Red, David Dobrik, Youngblood, Marshmallow, Black Bear, Sweetie, Noah Centineo. Now a good portion of these people were very nice folks to me. However, some of them kind of suck. I'm like really nervous to make this video because like this isn't something that I like usually down. I don't I don't usually spill tea or anything like that like I try to stay unproblematic But I need to get this off my chest and I'm not being over dramatic like it's ooh, okay. Let's just get right into it <gasps> Okay, <gasps> I'm gonna go through these in a way that makes the most sense Starting with Blueface. Y'all remember the rapper Blueface? He was like big like a, a year ago. He was like Blueface, baby. And that was really about all he did. But I was in Blueface's music video. I was supposed to be in the video. I actually was in the music video. Last year, I met this guy who was like Blueface's manager or something. I, can't, I honestly don't even know. But one day, he literally just texted me and was like, Hey, Blueface is filming a music video. Would you like to be in it? And I said, yes. And here I am. But that wasn't the first time I met Blueface. I met him at this one party and we got forced to make a TikTok together and it ended up looking like this. <laughs> So, if we're talking about Blueface, Blueface overall is a pretty cool dude. I think he was off the devil's lettuce the entire time I was speaking to him, but very cool dude, very chill. Now that brings us to when I met Trippy Red. I don't really know how to approach this part of the video cause it gets a little serious. Um, okay, let's start. So the same guy who invited me to be in Blueface's music video, um, also invited me about a month or two later to be in a Trippy Red music video. Now I loved Trippy Red's music. I was like obsessed with it. His song Topanga is a bang. And that is a fact. But once again, I got a text uh, from this manager, this record label dude saying, hey, would you like to be in a music video? But this time it was Trippy Red's music video. And also this time the manager texted me saying, there's a video shoot with Trippy Red today. And I said, really? Where's it at? Beverly Hills in a famous mansion. Would you want to come by with some friends? Brackets creators. I think you guys would be in the video too. I said, yeah, for sure. What time? I've got two creator friends who would love to be in it. Now, when I did the Blueface music video shoot, I went with my friend Annika and I asked her if she could come this time to the Trippy Red music video shoot, but she couldn't make it. But I was still bringing my creator friends. So then he sent the information. He said, I'm heading there now so I can give you more details when I reach out in about an hour. So we go there. That day I was hanging out with my friends Tyshawn, Joey, and Dennis. And it was about a 40 minute Uber to this mansion where they were filming the trippy red music video so we get there it's like a shoot like they have like a bunch of trucks there's a lot of people and we didn't really know where um this guy was like the guy that i was talking to so we just went into like kind of the front yard now let me insert a clip from dennis's video where he kind of explains what happened as soon as we walk in there things just like felt really weird things felt off i don't know i'm gonna input like what we were wearing i'll put clips of like <laughs> the day like we were super excited and we walk in and then it's just this like people were judging us. Ben went to his friend and his friend kind of gave him this look and was like, uh, hey, he was like, these are your friends. And we hear another uh, guy that was like, oh, these are the TikTokers. And, and I don't know the guy's name, but Ben's friend kind of pulled him aside and was like, can't even talk to you. From there, me and Tyshawn, me and Tyshawn and Joey are just standing there like, um, yeah, this is weird. Like we can definitely tell something's up. I look over to my left and I see this guy get out of a car. So I look over <laughs> And I see this guy. I had never seen any of Trippy Red's music videos. I don't know what he looks like, but I look over and he looks at me and he makes his face and is like, like just looked disgusted. Looked like what? Not only did he look at me and make a face, he looked at his friends as if to be like, do y'all see this? Shit? And then they all laughed. And it was like, I'm being laughed at. Like, wow, like, wow. They're off laughing and I can hear someone say, they need to get the hell out. Like, they need to get the hell out of here. They need to go, like, they need to go. Ben comes back and he's like, I think we're gonna, like, have to leave. And I'm like, okay, like, okay, I guess we're gonna have to leave. Like, it's, this is, I mean, we drove all the way out here, but whatever. <sighs> yup, 
I basically finally found the dude. I went up to him and I said, hey, like, what's going on? Why are they, like, laughing at my friends? Like, you said, bring creator friends. You didn't specify. And he told me that I could stay, but my friends would have to leave. Like, how is that happening in 2020? That is disgusting. I'd never witnessed, like, people just straight up be homophobic or discriminate people like in front of my own eyes and it made me so upset and so mad i haven't listened to a single trippy red song ever since so a little bit more receipts for you afterwards the record label guy said sorry about that but i could lose my job over miscommunications i didn't mean to disrespect your friends either it's a rap video and a rap set I'm sorry to have you come all this way just to have to leave. And then I said, I don't really see the miscommunication because you said creator friends and they are all big creators. To which he replied, I was aware of you and Annika. So I screenshotted the previous conversation where he said, bring your creator friends. And I sent it back to him. Then he said, it's my fault. I should have asked beforehand. Thank you for coming. And I said, thanks for the invite. <laughs> so after this happened, Dennis posted his video about it. And I don't know if this record label dude watched the video, but he literally called me 20 times after it happened. And he was sending me panic texts. Like we need to talk about what happened. <laughs> I don't, we don't need to talk about nothing, buddy. You and your musty friends are homophobic. And that's, well, that's it. I don't care if you lose your job. Anyways, I bet y'all didn't expect me to spill that much tea. I stay pretty neutral. I'm not a tea spiller. I don't even drink coffee. Dennis talked about that whole experience more in depth if you want to go check his video out. But now we're going to move on to some other celebrity experiences I've had. Okay, this is how I met David Dobrik. I met David Dobrik twice and it was both at VidCon last year. The first time I met him was like in the creator area of VidCon. They have like a little shuttle thing that you take to the creator hotel and I saw him sitting there and I was like <laughs> David Dobrik. So what did I do? I went up to him like a little 12 year old and I said I and you know what David Dobrik did? He said yes, because he's a cool dude. And we got a picture together. And then the second time I met him was at this like kind of crater party. It was like at a bowling alley. But him and the whole vlog squad came in and they like, they like got everyone in a crowd. And I can't even remember. I, let me find a clip. I can't believe you watch this shit. What the f what does that happen? <laughs> That happened as well. Moving on, we have Youngblood, Marshmallow, and Black Bear. I met all three of them at once. It was like a day where like they just got all these TikTokers together to like film uh, to like to promote their song or something. And I got to meet the real Marshmallow. I wasn't really a Youngblood fan before. I'd heard a few songs of his, but I was a Black Bear stan. I was a Black Bear stan. Damn. I had seen Black Bear at a music festival when I was like 15 and I freaking was obsessed with him. I loved his music. <laughs> so when I got to meet him in person, it was so cool. And he was so cool too. And he is such a cool dude. But the thing is, <laughs> I embarrass myself. <laughs> I embarrassed myself so much. So there was about like 20 of us TikTokers at this event and we each had about like five minutes to film a video with them. <laughs> So, so when it became my turn, I went up to the three of them and I was like, hey y'all, what's, what's up? Ah! And like right off the bat, like Black Bear, he like, I was wearing this necklace. It was like a little ghost and Black Bear like complimented my Netflix. Netflix. Necklace. And he was like, hey, cool necklace, dude. I like that. That looks like one that my buddy makes. And I just, I just couldn't process that they were real people. And I just stood there and I was like, make it. And I literally said, I'm, I was making eye contact with him like this. And I said nothing for 10 whole seconds. I counted it. <laughs> it was so awkward and I made it awkward for no reason. They were so, they were so normal and made me feel so comfortable. And I literally... Anyways, but Youngblood was really cool. Marshmallow was really cool. Love them. So a lot of the videos that like people made with them were just like them dancing to the song. And I wanted to be all quirky and like do something fun. This was like either the start of this year or late 2019. And so there was this trend going around on TikTok where you would like just throw objects in the air and everyone would have to like duck. So here's the video we made. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, you One. Oh, 
Ah. I was so surprised they said yes to making this. Like, I, I really was just throwing chairs in the air on this balcony on like the 20th floor of the London Hotel. Their managers were like watching by as I just throw these huge, like harmful objects into the air. But it was fun. I love that video. It's so fun, so quirky. But yeah, overall, super cool dudes. Love y'all. Love their music now. I started listening to Youngblood now. His music slaps very much. I didn't get to, I didn't get to take off Marshmallow's home with though. Awkward. Y'all know when you're like near a cop and you just have an intrusive thought and you're like, what if I take his gun? <laughs> or like, if you're like holding a baby and you're like, what if I drop it? When I was around Marshmallow, I was like, what if I take his helmet off and run? But I didn't. Uh. Okay, we have two other people on the list. Uh, next was Saweetie. I didn't have a good experience meeting Saweetie. She does that one song. What song does she do? She's done a few songs. She did that like tap in song. It's like tap, tap, tap in. Anyways, I got invited to the BET Awards and they were having this like kind of like fan fest thing a few days before. And like her record label wanted like some TikTokers to like make a video with her to like promote her song or something. So. Ugh. Originally, we were gonna like meet her in like a backstage area So like we had lots of room and like lots of time to film a video with her Her record label decided nah, let's just throw them in the line for her meet and greet and have her make a video there So they threw us all together in this crowd that had now formed for this meet and greet It was super unsafe There was people like crowding and stuff and there was a security guard that was like screaming so loud She's like I'm like, mama, is it sweetie? Like, we're not talking about, like, Harry Styles in concert here. We finally went up to her, and we just gave up on the TikTok. We took a picture with her, and we left. So, now, final celebrity, Noah Centineo. <laughs> this was kind of a full circle moment for me, considering that my whole entire TikTok career started off with me being compared to Noah Centineo. So, when I met him at the MTV Movie Awards, it was kind of crazy. We were both on the red carpet, and I briefly bumped into him, because I'm stupid, and I I didn't know where I was walking and then I realized it was Noah Centineo. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cuz I'm a Canadian and he's like, no worries, man. How you doing? And I was like, I'm good. Hey, twin. I didn't say hey, twin, but in my brain, I was like, hey, twin. And then he walked away, but I basically met Noah Centineo and it was crazy. It was crazy. So this video was all over the place. I'm like, well, here's how my friends got hate crime. And then here's how I met Noah Centineo. <laughs> Uh, anyways, didn't think I'd ever make a tea spilling sesh, but there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and turn on all post notifications. It truly does help a ton. And make sure you go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, but especially Instagram. Go hype me up on there and I'll give you a big old smooch. Those are all Ben of the Week, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. I love you so much, Bay. Take care, Ben of the Week. It's chill.